Welcome to the Concord. Today we are in Sanford, North Carolina at Homes by Vanderbilt. It's a little noisy outside, bear with me. We're gonna go check it out and then we'll come back inside and I promise it'll all be worth it. Here we go. y'all this home is a three bedroom two bath 2632 square foot beauty and as you can see it's got a an amazing little front porch i think you could spend so many days out there just soaking up some sun and this home is just gigantic we are right out here by the highway so bear with me as we get around here you got a little back door right here coming off of your utility room and then coming around to the back side of the house try not to step on any snakes <laughs> y'all I am terrified of snakes just so you know got a little back door right here and all of these windows this is probably my favorite thing when I walked through the house into the living area just all those windows letting in so much light. And then the windows in your master bedroom. I got so excited on the last one that I just walked through. I didn't even go upstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back over and refilm it. It's ridiculous. But anyway, hey, thank you for coming back to the channel. I don't ever want y'all to think that I am ungrateful because I am so grateful that y'all take the time out of your day to come and tour these homes with me. It means the world to me, it means the world to Jen. And shoot, most of you, you've been around so long, you've turned into family. I pretty much expect seeing you every time I, I upload a video and I look forward to talking to you. So anyway, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And then coming up onto this porch. This porch is something else. I love how it kind of wraps around. You've got the window right there going into your kitchen. It's special, I tell you. All right, are y'all ready? I'm ready. Every one of these homes I walk into, it's just, and y'all told me. Y'all have been requesting me to come down here, so I am glad I did it. I've been looking forward to this for so long. Now, when you first come into the home, you have this little foyer area. You got your little built-ins over here. And then you turn it around. You got your dining room and into your main living area. And those windows that I was talking about, it just really opens it up. And I love that this one's sitting right next to like some trees and stuff because it gives you that feeling of what it would actually be like if you put it on your own land. And man, that's what I would do. I'd want it backed up to some trees or overlooking a pond. Something like that. Anyway, as you can see, you got crown molding throughout all of this area and i'm pretty sure it goes throughout the home most of it in the last home it did i mean even into the pantry so we'll spin you around again real quick and let you get a an angle from your dining room yeah and then you got these nice pillars coming into your dining room are very pretty and then again you have a back door with some more almost floor-to-ceiling windows those things are huge then your dining room area well more like your breakfast area because you have an actual formal dining area so that's nice that's probably the first home I've been in 
that has two separate dining areas. So pretty neat, but we're gonna skip, not skip, we'll be back to the kitchen in just a second, but I just kind of want to flow through the house. This is coming through into your utility room. And this is another thing that I like that I have not seen before. There are gonna be a lot of things that I love here that are first. You do have your half bath over here in the utility room. So you don't have to worry about, it's just easy access for your guests to come right over there through the utility room or into the back door. They don't have to go into any of your personal living space. I like that personally. And then into your actual laundry area, a great big wash basin with some space to fold some clothes. And then you have your washer dryer hookups. Yeah. And now we can go right on back into the kitchen. Really pretty, you got your can lights and then you got some pennant lights coming down over the top of your island. And then you have your sink. Little undermount sink with a little removable faucet. And then your window is looking out over your porch. And continuing down, you have your dishwasher. Ooh, I love these handles. Very industrial looking. And then you got some space up above your cabinets as well. Your stove with a range hood and then the backsplash, huge white tile back behind your stove. It actually goes all the way around. And then you got your little pantry area. Top and bottom. And then we don't want to forget this side of the island you have, I'm learning, you got your little vegetable washing sink. <laughs> then you have your microwave built into the side of the island. And then over here next to the refrigerator, you got another little counter space. You got some more cabinets up above the refrigerator. Looks like some more pantry area. And then your refrigerator. So you got the double doors up top and then you got your freezer down on the bottom. Boop. And then into your formal dining room. Got the bay window cut out thing. I don't think it's a true bay window, but still pretty. And then that is the main living areas. Now, don't let me forget to go up those stairs because I did in the last one. <laughs> and I'm going to have to find some time to go back and go up there and do it. So huge hall closet right under the stairs. And then coming down the hallway here, you have to your left, you have two bedrooms right here. And then this is the their shared bathroom and then to your right you have a whole master suite so just to kind of give you an idea as far as where we are we'll go ahead and come into the second bathroom double vanity 
with the vanity lights that match the pendant lights in the uh, kitchen. Your shower and tub combo. Your toilet, and then you have a linen closet. Top and bottom, and it's got a little room up top. Then crossing the hall into the first bedroom, which is again huge, windows are huge. And then you got the double doors for your closet. Yeah. We were at uh, Carolina Country Homes, and this gimbal, man. Today it's it's fine. I don't know what was it. it was just it was throwing a temper tantrum or something. <laughs> Every time I'd go to move or show something, it was just having a conniption fit, and it was really driving me crazy. I was really concerned about how the footage was going to come out because they had some really interesting homes there that um, I don't think a lot of folks have shown them. So. It was nice to, to have that. But anyway, it was just glitching out and I was like, no. I think it worked out though. All right, this master suite is ridiculous. So it has its own little hallway, a gigantic walk-in closet. And you have access to the back of that other tub right here. And then it's separate from your ensuite, bathroom area. So you have some linen closets, double vanity, all the drawers. And then coming into your shower, you got a bench, the removable shower head, the rainfall shower head, and then a window, and then the tile surround as well. I mean, those rainfall shower heads, that, that's all the rage nowadays, that's for sure. Your toilet, and then this cute little shelf, kind of matches the, um, the pools on the cabinets in the, in the kitchen, which is nice, pretty nifty. And then into your actual master bedroom, just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, oh my goodness. Again, with the just big windows. I love this home. And this is only the second one for the day. So I'm sorry, but for the next month, y'all are gonna hear me say, I love this home, I love this home. And I'm gonna be talking about every single home. All right, now let's go ahead and go upstairs. Now the upstairs is gonna be unfinished. I'm fairly certain. Ooh, it'll lighten up. Yeah. But it just goes forever. So this is the front of the house. Give you an idea. So it goes back this way. You got some over here. We'll check that out in just a second. But you talk about just a big old game room. Man cave, lady cave. Shoot, everybody can have a cave up here. And then, oh, man, oh, man. Hey, thank you for watching again. You know what to do. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like button. If you want some merch to help support the channel, I greatly appreciate it. You can pick yourself up a hat or a t-shirt. 
Link is in the description. If you're not a member already, I don't know what you're waiting on at this point. You need to get over to that members area so you can have access to all the other cool stuff that I'm doing while I'm doing this. It's fun. It's awesome. Do it. Link in the description. Now, for the base price of this home, you are going to be looking at about $279,000. And then for the as toured price, what you've seen as far as upgrades and stuff, you're going to be looking at about $381,000. Now keep in mind, all these prices are subject to change and that price may be different from the price that you pay when you decide to come and purchase a home. Keep that in mind, just use this as a starting point and then uh, go from there. I'll definitely leave the link for Homes by Vanderbilt in the description below. And then also the upgrade sheet to see what we've toured, what was upgraded in this home. All of that will be in the members area. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. My name's Timothy, bye.